The first thing that the media, celebrities, and politicians will do after a mass shooting in the United States is call for gun control. I personally registered Democrat for the election. I've never voted Republican, but let's look at the facts. In response to the media outrage, President Trump tweeted, just like they don't want to solve the DACA problem, why didn't the Democrats pass gun control legislation when they had both the House and the Senate during the Obama administration? Because they didn't want to, and now they just talk. Is it true? During some of the years of the Obama administration, they had control of the House and the Senate in a filibuster-proof government, but they didn't pass these gun control laws that they're screaming about. Why? The school shootings of Columbine and Virginia Tech were still all over the media and they were still in the minds and hearts of the American people. So why didn't they pass this gun control legislation? Well, if you take your bias and your emotions aside for just a second, you might come to the conclusion that I've came to, which is that they don't actually seem to have any sort of real authentic message and they don't really seem to want to solve any problems. To keep it real with you, a lot of the things that they complain and hate on Trump for and call him racist for, they've actually done not that long ago. They've said and believed in the same exact things that they now demonize Trump for. Don't believe me? See for yourself. Here's Democrat Chuck Schumer calling for tighter travel and immigration security. This executive order was, was mean-spirited and un-American. Now here's Chuck Schumer, the immigration hero, and now if you disagree with him, you're racist? The main idea that underlies each of these seven principles is that the American people are fundamentally pro-legal immigration and anti-illegal immigration. We will only pass comprehensive reform when we recognize this fundamental concept. First, illegal immigration is wrong and a primary goal of comprehensive immigration reform must be to dramatically curtail future illegal immigration. Second, operational control of our borders through significant additional increases in infrastructure, technology, and border personnel must be achieved within a year of enactment. Is it any surprise that Jimmy Kimmel gets political consulting from Chuck Schumer? Maybe fake crying is one of their con man tactics to guilt the public into voting in more phonies. I have a story to tell about something that happened to our family last week. I'm sorry, to, I, you know, I, I, I try not to get emotional. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, here we are again. We're a gunman, a former student, opened fire yesterday again. I, I'm sorry for getting emotional. I'm, I'm not great with this kind of thing. Here's a video of President Barack Obama talking about illegal immigration. As we are a nation of immigrants, we're also a nation of laws. Undocumented workers broke our immigration laws, and I believe that they must be held accountable, especially those who may be dangerous. When I took office, I committed to fixing this broken immigration system, and I began by doing what I could to secure our borders. But today, our immigration system is broken, and everybody knows it. There are actions I have the legal authority to take as president. He also deported many more illegal immigrants than Trump has. But who cares about the facts? We have emotions, we have fake outrage, and we have an agenda to push. So do Democratic politicians and celebrities and activists actually care about safety and security? From a peace-loving, hippie-minded, liberal-hearted person, I honestly don't think so. When they had the chance to push the gun control legislation that they're screaming and freaking out about now, they didn't do it. When they had the chance to talk and act out against illegal immigration and travel security, they did the same exact things that Trump said. Now that President Trump did a 180 on DACA and he wants to keep the DACA immigrants, all of a sudden the Democrats are filibustering their own bill, screaming, freaking out, and unwilling to compromise. I mean, I just don't think they care about these illegal immigrants. I just don't think they care about safety and security. I just don't think they care about gun control legislation because when they had the filibuster proof chance to pass it, they didn't pass it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I truly do care about safety and security. I really want these mass tragedies and horrible incidents to stop happening, not only in the United States, but all over the world. I just don't have an authentic connection with politicians, the media, or the celebrity elite class anymore. It's just one big pile of BS after another. I would love for them to get more honest and better so I could consider voting about them or watching their television stations, but they have no regards for accuracy or self-accountability anymore, and it's honestly just getting creepy. Every single top trusted news company 
has had to attract this year some of the most embarrassing and fake stories dispersed to millions of Americans. The celebrities are the biggest hypocrites on the planet. So if you really want to impress me and millions of others, spare us from this fake outrage every single week, do something productive, and let's work together to get to the root of these issues that we all care about. Not just scream and fake cry like little babies on the surface. Because Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, or Independent, it's not helping anyone. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for considering. If you'd like to support my news analysis, I'll have my link below and also a free email list. Much love and have a good week. Bob Ross, you'll never see me tripping. Got the vision, I don't even need assistance. Bob Ross, all I do is